Good day mga ka CRT. Welcome again to our YouTube channel. For this video tutorial, we will solve some sample problems in physics slash dynamics. So for our first example, find the work done if d equals 2 meters, find the acceleration of the box, assume frictionless surface. So for this kind of problem, let us take note that the horizontal force applied by this man is in level with the surface. Okay, so this is the force applied by the man on the box. And this is in parallel with the motion or the surface. So simply, the work done is force times the distance involved. So we have 1,500 newtons multiplied by the distance 2 meters. So this is 3,000 newton meter. And we can convert 3,000 to 3 kilo. 3 kilo, then the unit newton meter since this is the unit for work, it is appropriate to use the unit joules. So for our answer for the work, this is equivalent to 3 kilojoules. While for the acceleration, let us use Newton's second law. Okay, so the uh, force is equivalent to the mass times acceleration. So this is 1,500 newtons equals mass of the object. Okay, the mass is not given. So let us assume this mass is equivalent to, let's say, 1,000 kilogram. So this is 1,000 it should be in the SI unit of mass. So this is already in the SI unit, 1,000 kilogram, and times the acceleration. So solving for A, so this is just 1,500 divided by 1,000 equivalent to 1.5. And the SI unit for acceleration is mass over or per second squared. Okay, so this is our acceleration, 1.5 meter per second squared. Let us now solve this second example. This is almost the same example, but it has a coefficient of kinetic friction and the mass of the box now is 100 kilograms only. So to begin our solution, let us consider now the effect of the coefficient of the kinetic friction. So this 1,500 Newton is going to the right. Therefore, the movement of the box is to the right. It has a friction which is opposite to the direction of the movement. So the friction here, frictional force here is going to the left, represented by a small f. To recall, frictional force is equivalent to the coefficient of kinetic friction multiplied by the normal force. Normal force is perpendicular to the contact. Okay? And since this box is in horizontal surface, Normal force is simply equivalent to the weight of the box. So what is the formula to calculate the weight? This is mass times the acceleration due to gravity. So let us solve. Mass is 100 kilograms while G is 9.8 meters per second squared so we have 980 newtons this is the normal force 
So we can now calculate the frictional force. This is 0.3 multiplied by 980. And this is equivalent to 294 newtons. So let us now solve the work done. Work done now since there are more than one force involved. So we will be using the net force equals or the work done is equivalent to the net force multiplied by the distance. Okay. So the net force here is 1,500. That's going to the right. Minus frictional force of 294 newtons. Okay, since it is going to the left. So this is negative. Then multiplied by the distance. 2 meters. So let us calculate that. 1,500 minus 294. And the result is times 2. Okay, so this is 2,412 newton meter. You can convert this, okay, this 2,412, you can convert this to 2.41 kilo. And newton meter is joules. So this is the work done for this example. Next requirement is calculate or find the acceleration. So to find the acceleration using Newton's second law of motion, so we have F net equals mass times acceleration. F net, this is 1,500 minus 294 equals mass, this is 100 kilograms times A, the acceleration. Solving for the acceleration, so 1,500 minus 294 divided by 100. This will give us 12.06 meter per second squared. For our example number three, Find the work done and the acceleration. So this time, the force applied is with an angle with respect to the horizontal. So to solve for the work done, okay, we will still be using force times distance. But this time, we have to include the effect of the angle. This is cosine theta. Okay, so this is 1,500 newtons times the distance, 2 meters, and cosine of 20 degrees. Since the angle is in degrees, make sure that your calculator is in degree mode. Let us calculate this. Okay, 1,500 times 2 times cosine of 20 this will give us 2,819.08. Let's say uh, we use two decimal places, Newton meter. And let us convert 2,000 to kilo. So we have 2.82 kilo by using or by rounding it to two decimal places and newton meter is in kilo joules so this is our answer for the work done for this problem and for the acceleration f net equals mass times acceleration when we talk about f net this must be the force in parallel with the motion so if we will consider the force in parallel with the motion, this is the horizontal force of this 1,500. Okay? 
So let us recall that with regards to the inclination of the force applied, this is the force applied, 1,500. Okay? It has two components now, the vertical component or the Y component and the X component. And the direction of the motion is the direction of the acceleration. So we have to consider that. Okay? This is, take note, this is the X component. This is the Y component. Okay. Going back to our solution, the F net here is the X component of the 1,500. And to get the X component, this is 1,500 cosine of the given angle. Okay? So, equivalent to mass, 100 kilograms. It should be in kilograms, ha? If, just in case, the given mass is not in kilogram, so you have to convert that to kilogram. Okay? And then, and then the acceleration is A. So, solving for A, this is 1,500 times cosine 20 divided by 100. And this is 14.095. So, if we convert this to two decimal places, this is 14.10 meters per second squared. Our last example, this is the same, almost the same with our previous example. We will just consider now the effect of the friction. Okay? So let us begin by calculating uh, the normal force. So let us draw some free body diagram here. Okay? So the effect of 100 kilogram is going downward. So that is our 100 kilograms. But for this free body diagram, we must express every quantity in uh, newtons. Okay. So let us just say this is weight of the box. Then for the normal force, this is always in perpendicular with the contact. So this is the direction of the normal force. While for the applied 1,500, this is the 1,500 uh, pulling force. Okay? Or this is the angle, 20 degrees. Now, we have to get the value of the normal force. So, if we apply the summation of our Fy, the vertical forces, and equate that to zero, we can uh, write here N that is going upwards, so N is positive, minus W box, weight of the box, then the y component of 1500 is going upward, right? So that is the y component of the 1500, while the x component is going to the right. But since this is going up, we need to uh, include the y component. So this is going up, therefore this is plus 1500. Sign. So it should be signed because we are dealing with the y component. So equals to zero. Then to solve for the weight of the box, this is equivalent to the mass times acceleration due to gravity, right? So this is okay. So let us uh, solve separately the weight of the box. 
weight of the box is mass times G. So we have 100 times 9.8. And this is 980 newtons. So let us put 980 newtons here. Plus 1,500 times sine of 20. So this is... 513.03 equals 0. Okay, so N here is solving for N. So we have 466.97. So this is in Newtons. Take note, ha? This, is, this N is for the normal force. This N here is the unit, meaning Newton. So we already have the normal force. We can now calculate the frictional force. The frictional force here is equivalent again to mu K times N. So this is 0.3 of 466.97. So this is 0.3 times 466.97. This will give us 140.091 Newton. So we can now solve the work done. So this is F net multiplied by the distance. Okay. So this is our F net. This must be uh, the force going to the direction of the acceleration. So the acceleration here is obviously in horizontal motion. Therefore, all horizontal component will be used in calculating the F net. Therefore, let us first consider the X component of 1,500, right? So 1,500 cosine 20 degrees. Okay, minus the frictional force because frictional force is going opposite with the direction of the uh, Fx. We already have frictional force. This is 140.091. Okay, so multiplied by the distance, 2 meters. So let us calculate first the value inside the parentheses. So 1,500 cosine 20 minus 140.091. And this will give us 1,269.45 newtons. Multiply that to 2 meters. And this is 2,538.90 Newton meter. Convert that to kilo. So this is 2.54 kilo joules. So this is our answer for this example in terms of the requirement work. Okay, let us now calculate the acceleration. So for the acceleration, we will be using Newton's law of sec uh, Newton's second law of motion. And this is equivalent to F net. Okay, when we say net, this is the net force. F net equals M times the acceleration. So we already have the F net here. F, F net is... 1,269.45 We already solved that from our previous calculation. Okay, so this is the F net. Equivalent to mass in kilograms. So let us just put 100 times the unknown acceleration. So the acceleration here Okay, is 
0.69 meters per second squared. Okay, so this is our last example. Again, thank you for visiting our YouTube channel. If you think you learned from this video tutorial, please subscribe to this channel. Click the like button. You can share this to your friends and classmates. You can also leave a comment. Once again, thank you and God bless to all.